Welcome back to another Inkscape tutorial. In this lesson, we're going to learn the proper way to erase and a way that we can, a nice, good way that we can kind of merge shapes together and create new interesting shapes without having to freehand draw things. So we see here, this is remember the last settings that we were using. So if we just select this circle and double click on it and click this full to complete a full circle. And then I'm just gonna draw a rectangle and we'll turn one of them red We'll keep the other one blue, and they both have a blue stroke, but that's fine. So what we want to do, suppose we wanted to make a shape like this that had like a square. We want, Suppose we wanted the shape to look like the, the whole outline of this. So maybe we, we'll make it black. Let's make both these black, actually. All right, and then forget about the stroke, but it'll look kind of like this. Well, what we can do is we can select both objects, and then we can go up to Path and we can go to this union. And that'll create a union. We'll see it gets rid of that blue line, the overlap line. And now this is just one object. It's not a group. If we hit Control Shift G, nothing happens. We can't break this apart. It's just kind of an object now. We can never get back this square and this circle separately, this rectangle and, and circle oval. Instead, it's just this thing, like maybe this is a loaf of bread and we can color it so it looks like a loaf of bread. And that's a way that you can kind of create some different things. Maybe you want to create the uh, Mickey Mouse ears. So we do this, then we hit Control D to duplicate it, and then we draw like an even bigger circle to connect the two. We make our Mickey Mouse ears like this, but we'll turn them all like blue. So that's pretty cool. Oh hey, that's matching our stroke color, so it looks really good. So that looks good right now. We could just group Control G, and now they're all grouped together, but it's different than this. And the reason it's different is if we were to put a stroke on there, you'd still see those lines. And sometimes you want to have, we, we might want to do a, a stroke on this. In fact, let's do, let's do a, you know, a nice noticeable stroke. And we want these lines to be gone. So we don't, what we don't do is take the erase tool and try and erase those lines like this. That's just going to not work, even if it's selected. Uh, it's not going to be, oh, we're on the, I don't know if that'll even work, Control shift g If we ungrouped it, we could try and do that. So we take this, and now if we try and erase it. It'll, this is what it does. Creates all kinds of craziness. And if we turn off the, the fill even, it's still not going to work the way we want it to. So um, Control z Control z Control z What we want to do is the same thing we did to make this loaf of bread. We select the whole thing. We go to Path, Union. And now this becomes its own path. So it's no longer an object. We can't get in and edit the radius of each individual circle. We can't make the Pac-Man anymore like we could before by doing like this type thing. So we can't do that because this is an object. Oops, this thing's an object now, and this is a path. But what we can do, if we double click, we can see we can edit the different nodes of this path. We can kind of change the arc. But we had it looking pretty nice the way before because I'm just awesome at drawing Mickey Mouse ears. So now we've got a Mickey Mouse here, we've got a loaf of bread. What if though, what if we want to, what if we want, okay, let's create a bite mark out of this loaf of bread. This is a good example. So what if we want our bite to look kind of like this? So let's select some circles. Let's make it a full circle so it's not the Pac-Man. And it doesn't matter what color it is, we'll just make it black. And let's zoom in here and let's have a nice, so we let's get um, maybe about this size, we we'll do one, then I'll hit Control D to duplicate. We'll do a, another one and Control D. That looks sort of like a bite mark. Maybe we'll bring this one forward a little bit more. So we're trying to create like the, a look like there's something been bitten out of here. So we'll keep it just like that. We'll select all of these. I'm going to hit Control D and just duplicate this whole thing. We might use it again. Let's select all of these and go to Path. And then we go to Difference. And now what it's done... Hmm. Control Z. Let's uh, let's select these three and and create a, a path out of all of them. A union. I mean, so let's union these just like we did the Mickey Mouse ears. And now let's cr make that our bite. So now we select the bread by hitting, holding down Shift and selecting the bread and these three unioned circles. And now we go to difference. And now we've got a nice little bite mark out of there. And see the the stroke follows the bite mark, and it looks kind of like a bit a bite's been taken out of there. Um, if this doesn't make sense at first, that's completely normal because this is not 
this is like an abstract, it's not an abstract way, this is the way that you work in Inkscape, but it's kind of counterintuitive to what you might think to being used to with bitmap editing where you just grab an eraser and draw out and edit pixel by pixel. And the reason, again, that we do this in Inkscape is because we can scale this loaf of bread huge and it'll always keep the same characteristics. It'll never, ever get grainy. So if we zoom in here, it's always just nice and sharp and it never gets grainy. It's, it looks really cool. All right, so those are the two that we looked at. Path, we've got union, we've got difference. There's also intersection. Intersections like, well, what if we want to keep just the part of the objects that intersect with each other? So I'm going to highlight these three circles and delete them. And let's say we want to keep just the bottom half of a star as it intersects with this loaf of bread. Uh, come on now. I've got my... You can turn that off. If it's bothering you, you can actually turn off this thing here that says enable snapping. And we'll just disable snapping and that won't snap anymore. With that enabled, you see that was like the corner of the star was snapping to the top of the bread. So if that bothers you like it just did me, we can change that. Let's make this intersection though and let's highlight this whole thing. Let's go to path intersection. So now what that's done is just done the inside intersection. You can look and see. And so it's cut off the top of the star because that's where the loaf of bread was intersecting it, but everything else is gone. So now it's like a little object. It actually wasn't the best example. Let's go back. A better example for that one would have been um, path, and let's do like exclusion. And so now we have just the star excluded, or actually even if we drag it to the middle, and we want it to be, yeah, we go here, path, exclusion. So now we have a loaf of bread with a star in the middle of it, but it's not like it's not a white star it's a star cut out of it so if we drag it over top of something it's like a cutout just like this this bite mark is a cutout only it's behind if we want to raise it we go to the top level and then we can see it's in front of there uh let's take but but we're done now we can't we can't grab this star back out unless we do undo and hit control z we're just done with all of these we can't these are just paths now we can go in and edit the nodes of them but we can't ever go back and change the properties of this star like we would just by drawing a star. We can't do this, for example, or we can't do this to this star because it's no longer a, an object, it's a path cut into this bread. Um, let's draw one more, let's draw another thing to do an example, oops. So one thing, in fact, with a star, we'll just use this loaf of bread that we already have, control duplicate, I'll delete these circles I just did. Let's take this star and see it's behind. We need to get it up top so I can push the page up key on my keyboard or I could hit this button to raise to top. But let's create something kind of like this. And then what I'm going to do is hold down shift and select the bread and the star at the same time. And we'll go to path and we'll do this. Uh, we'll do, is it cut path? Yeah, let's do cut path. So that'll set, that'll make it so that we have all these different parts of this bread and they're each different paths. So everywhere that star was, it's kind of hard to, to see it. If we hit control Z, it cut each of these paths into, into different points. So now we have just this path here. We wouldn't probably do it with a star like that, but if ever you want to, you have a path like this and we want to cut out just the top part of it, we can do that cut path. And if we, if we do it like this, we want just the top part of the bread. We go to path and we go to cut path. And now we have just this top part of the bread as its own separate path. <sighs> because otherwise, you know, naturally you might just think, well, let's, why don't we just edit the nodes? And then you come in, you start deleting nodes like to get to that top half and it just doesn't behave the same way. So this top half of the bread is now, it's all connected and how do you break apart? So, and there are multiple ways to accomplish this, but a good way to get to create shapes that you're wanting to shape uh, to create is going to be to use these different uh, things: division, exclusion, intersection. So play with these. And I should have mentioned this earlier, but a good cheat sheet for everything that you've learned in these tutorials, and honestly, like the way that I've learned Inkscape is by using the built-in tutorials. So if you go to Help and you go to Tutorials. Uh, I believe these ones are under advanced maybe, but it brings up a new window and it shows you all this stuff that we've been doing. So you scroll down and it has 
you know, working with text and somewhere, on, was it on this one? Yeah, so it has all the different, it sh shows an illustration of what these different things do. Union, difference, intersection, exclusion, division, cut path. And so you can practice this. The cool thing about this tutorial, uh, the tutorials built into Inkscape, is that you can actually click and edit the every part of it, even the text. It's really cool because the tutorial is written on an Inkscape canvas. And so if we want to demonstrate this union, we just go to select both of them, go to path, and then we go to union, and now we have that same shape as this. Hit control Z, and we can demonstrate each one of these. We can do difference. We can do this division. We go to path division and it creates the same looking thing here it's like a puzzle piece so that's really cool so anyway that's a way you can learn um, and reference a lot of what you've learned is by going into these different tutorials uh, under the help and tutorial section in Inkscape sorry I should have mentioned that earlier that's like a super valuable resource I don't know why I didn't just start um, start that at the tutorial one showing you that was there but um, anyway Hopefully you find that useful, and it opens a separate window too. So we can just close that, close without saving, and then we have our old one up here. But practice, get used to those tools because you will use them. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.